Today we go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the sequel trilogy. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, these past couple of weeks, we've been learning a whole lot more about the final film of this trilogy that will be directed by J.J. Abrams in just under two weeks. So, Cardington over in the UK is the first confirmed location so far that we have heard about. They're still scouting as we speak for different locations for potential spots for principal photography. Now, aside from all of that, We've been learning about all of these different characters, such as Mara, Karo, and Xander, etc. And we learned a whole lot more about the character of Carrie Russell these past couple of days, and how she's most likely going to be the character who plays Mara, which could, and quite possibly, be a spin on the character of Mara Jade. However, a new character is entering into the mix for Episode 9, and this is a character codenamed and or named Yorick, a Caucasian male actor from ages 40 to 45, for a shoot in September that will be working with some of the main cast members. Members, one of which being, of course, John Boyega. The role requires heavy stunts, and the actor will have a stunt double for many of the sequences during the shoot in September. So, this is honestly raising a lot of questions now on exactly who this character of Yorick really is. Now, Yorick could either be a code name or the actual name of the character. We're not quite sure as of yet. I mean, after all, for The Last Jedi, Benicio Del Toro's character, we thought his name was just a code name, which was DJ, and that actually ended up being his real name in the movie, which he was never called that, he remained unnamed. But anyways, looking at episode 9, the character of Yorick, I think, connects to the concept art description that we went over a couple of weeks ago involving Finn, Poe, and a character next to Rose in the background where the character's wearing a trench coat, kind of like Benicio Del Toro's DJ in The Last Jedi, I guess. So it seems like they might try to want to get like another like scummy guy in Star Wars Episode 9. Maybe this guy's a bounty hunter of sorts. We have no clue. But one thing is for certain is that this is yet another character entering into Episode 9, codenamed and or named Yorick, a Caucasian male actor who will be portraying the character between the ages of 40 to 45. Now this will all be done and shot in September of this year, and I'm really starting to wonder to myself, guys, do you think that too many characters in Episode 9 is going to be a bad and or a good thing? To me, it's signaling a lot of death, a lot of sacrifices, and a lot of loss in this movie that J.J. Abrams will be making. And if I had to say one thing here, is that, you know, I think that a movie like this should really and primarily focus on both Kylo and Rey for a majority of the film. I think that is the centerpiece of the movie, and I think it still will be, but the fact that this movie is going to have a ton of characters, not just to replace, you know, Snoke, Haldo, and Luke Skywalker, all these other characters that died in The Last Jedi, but also Captain Phasma. She died, but she could always come back if they really wanted to. But I just feel like that this might be too much. I feel like there's a lot of characters coming into Episode 9. I'm just not quite sure how this is going to work out. Unless the movie is going to be extremely long in comparison to The Last Jedi. If you look at The Last Jedi, it was considered the longest Star Wars movie to date. Will J.J. Abrams actually beat that record is a question open on the table for discussion. Now, looking at Kerry Russell's character, that is the one character that I'm really excited for to see on screen. Whether or not she is playing a new version of Mara Jade from the EU, I have no idea. But regardless, I think that Kerry Russell is a great actress. I saw some episodes of The Americans. She does a great job in that. She's awesome in Mission Impossible 3. I don't know if you guys are into the Mission Impossible movies. Great in those movies. Um, but the thing is, is that I really don't know exactly who she's playing. We have yet to hear on exactly who she will be playing in this movie. But we will be learning that later down the road as we get, you know, more cast announcements and 
you know, more location announcements, where they will actually be filming for the movie, etc. Things are really going to, you know, start coming together as we get closer and closer to the end of the year. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.